Welcome to the Learning Layers webinar series about the design, development and operations infrastructure of the Learning Layers project. In this video, we first give an insight on which challenges drive us in the project currently. Then we will see what other webinars are waiting for us in this series. We have created this webinar series to raise awareness how the development of backend services and mobile apps is handled in layers. We also want to show the tools that we are using to manage our collaboration across Europe. The videos are best viewed on the developer homepage of Learning Layers, available under http developerlearning layerseu There, after most of the tool videos, we are providing some exercises that we encourage you to try out to get familiar with the respective tools. Before we start, let's say a few words about the Layers project. In Layers, we develop technologies that support informal learning at the workplace. Thereby, we are focusing on small and medium-sized enterprises within regional construction and healthcare clusters. We develop mobile and social technologies that unlock and enable peer production within and across those SMEs. Finally, we build open technologies that scale to support scaling informal learning so that shared meaning of work practices emerges at the individual, the organizational and the inter-organizational level of the network. Over the last more than two years, we have spent many resources on development. It started out with designers coming up with very innovative ideas. In parallel, a technical survey has been performed to collect useful technologies. Then, the development of the backhand and mobile apps started. While we have learned many lessons on our path, the tools now provide the much needed functionality. But of course, there's always a lot more to tune. Because of scaling fast and steep, we increase the problem of dealing with new ideas for enhancements of the software or simply bugs that users find. We are faced with a huge number of users with a lot of different usage contexts. This leads us to some questions. How do we scale the integration of user feedback into the design and development processes? How do we manage the heterogeneity in the long tail? Can we design the feedback loop so that we keep up the interest in our apps? And finally, how do we cope with trolls possibly posting dozens of feature requests without ever trying out improvements? Here we are, layers boxes are being rolled out. Agile ideas have driven the mobile app development that can leverage the backend offerings of the layers boxes. Now is the time to try out the same agility for user feedback. It's the time to welcome everybody to the development process. End users, designers and developers. The mindset that we follow in the project and also in this webinar series is the DevOps use lifecycle. It is an extension of the DevOps methodology that became very well known in the worldwide development community over the last years. The webinars revolve around this lifecycle, starting from the tools, Requirements Bazaar and Jira for feedback and development, then GitHub and Jenkins for development and test, after that Layers Box, Layers Adapter and Docker for deploy and monitoring, and finally, MobSauce as Community Success Awareness Framework. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy our webinar series.